Okay. Um, Good work just to change those, those subscripts into grams, make the subscripts into moles by dividing by the gram atomic mass of each of the elements, and then just simplifying it by dividing by the smallest amount. Now, there are sometimes, I mean, this is all about how do you change from moles to grams and particles of things. Sometimes we put substances into water. What's interesting about water is here is what happens in the ionic compounds we learned, uh, you know, right before we went to break, is that the electron gets stolen over to this other atom. So there's plus parts and there's minus parts. But water, if you remember, okay, that's got a part like looks like this. And this oxygen's a little more electronegative, so it, it's actually kind of minus, and these are kind of a little bit plus. So if that minus and that side's plus, what's going to happen is the water really likes, and the oxygen really likes these positive atoms. It'll start to go over there and it'll start to tug on them. As a matter of fact, what ends up happening is the hydrogens like the negative parts. Okay, so these guys are a little bit plus, and so they'll surround some of these like that. And then oxygens are going to come here as the hydrogens are there. Okay? And don't forget to get all the electrons in. i gotta, I got to draw them around here as well. Um, so that's water, and that is water coming up to an ionic compound and saying, ooh, I like those plus parts and minus parts. Let me start to pull. Literally, it'll start pulling this sodium chloride apart, and that's what we call dissolving. This process where water is surrounding every one of those atoms makes the solid salt into an aqueous solution. So we're going to use that idea to say however many moles are dissolved in a liter, it's going to give a new unit. And just like we have moles as an amount, we can have moles in each liter, and that's going to be a concentration. So moles per liter is a concentration, and it's usually given the symbol M. And it's moles per liter is, is, the, is what it stands for, moles per liter. Um, those are going to be given the symbol M like that. So if I have 16 moles of salt in um, 32 liters of water, it's really just straightforward to say what's the concentration of that uh, salt solution. So I'm going to say, oops. Let me get rid of that. Okay, what's that concentration? It's as easy as just saying how many moles are in how many liters. So you're taking 32 liters and putting 16 moles in there is equal to molality. So the molality in this case is two, sorry, I said molal. Um, it's actually molar, two molar solution of um, NaCl. Okay, so instead of saying two moles like we were before, if you're going to talk about solutions, you're going to say two molar. Two molar, point molar, point one molar, point five molar, those kinds of things. So you've got some problems that you can work there, and that'll, that'll get us through this um, concept of moles how many things you have, and how many moles you have in solution. That's going to be important because we're going to deal with uh, solutions in, um, in a soon coming chapter.